Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vintage versus Classified uh, comparison video. Here we have Recondo. Here we're gonna uh, dive into, you know, the mold and, you know, similarities, differences and whatnot. Things that have changed or stayed the same. That's how this series uh, goes. But removing uh, their base plates here. I did not have all the accessories here for our vintage one, just this back piece, um, which um, we might as well get right into it. Um, I really like the sculpting of this one, very round and not super square. You have a canteen, a sort of bedroll there, and I like that he does have this sort of grippy thing in case he wants to hold it. And yeah, it just goes on his back like any other vintage figure. Um, but yeah, looks fantastic. In terms of accessories for um, the classified one, we do have the um, uh, rifle here, which I think the vintage one comes with a similar one, but yeah, here it is. You have some bandages there, very cool. You have this added sort of machete here on the thigh, and then you have a removable pistol here on the holster. And then the back piece, as you can see, they try to stay very similar, true to um, the vintage one. You know, you even have the sort of buckle there. Very cool. You have a canteen. You have a strap that hangs down. You have a stripe there or strap. And then you have a, a bag here or pocket here on the side. And then the bedroll as well here for the classified one. Um, looking very cool and it's strapped in just like the vintage one um, but no grippy on the top for him to hold with his hand so that's a bit unfortunate and I'm gonna remove that for um, the rest of this video you have the detachable um, hat as well which is very cool taking a look at it here and it's cool with the vintage one because you can see like the sort of strap or string that holds it together we're here they kind of went for a button thing pulling it together and then you do have this sort of band going around the rim there uh, it's not painted on the vintage one but you, it is no noticeable on there and yeah i mean this one is much straighter compared to the vintage one you can see how it droops down kind of um like sort of it's worn out i think that's something that would have been cool with um the recondo on the classified is just give it give him some more weathering like he's really been been out in the jungle um, cause yeah, he looks very clean, like he hasn't been out there, so yeah. Um, but with that being said, uh, let's compare molds and, uh, you know, let's see what they have changed. Starting with the feet, we can already see a difference here. So here we have pants going over the boots. Here we have boots or pants going into the boot, as you can see there with the classified. I never really liked this mold cause it's just so hard and very gummy. Um, to articulate but there's the differences then we have the camo here which I think the classified did a great job in replicating um, mine's kind of faded out on the vintage one in terms of color I think I mean I'm not sure what the color is but it is sort of a off green here um, for both of them and then yeah you have the sort of khaki pants underneath that deco you had do we do have a sculpted knife or a machete here on the vintage one so the classified give us a usable one or removable one which is nice you have the belt here um, two pouches here on the side and nothing more um, but here on the classified we also get um, the two pouches but you know extra pouches going around and whatnot and then we get a nice little compass which I think is always a cool detail with the classified one here. Now the sculpt here is meant to resemble the shirt tucking into the belt, you know, um, which we do get with the vintage one. So they try to replicate that. Um, a lot of people don't like it. I don't personally mind it. I think it's okay. Um, then we get to the torso. Again, sculpted um, gun here, whereas the classified made it removable, which is nice. And it is also sort of a different um, setup um, or for the web gear here. Um, here you have two straps going there and then it goes to the back. Where here you have three straps going into the holster and then it goes to the back. Just a nice little detail there that um, is not similar. Then we get to the arms. I think 
Um, for the most part, they did a good job of replicating that. We even have the watch here with some nice silver there. Um, the nice little logo there with the green um, stripe going through it. Very cool, but resembling again the vintage um, logo there that we see there. And nothing else on these arms, but yeah, the sleeves are rolled up to the sort of bicep area there um, for both of these guys. We are missing this sort of metal here that we see on the vintage Rakondo. Uh, we don't get that for um, the classified. And then we get to the face sculpt. Um, you can see here, this is more of a split uh, mustache, whereas classified made it one long connected mustache there. Um, but you can see the hair there on the back. I think they give um, the classified version a much longer hair there, but still very cool. And then we talked about the hat as well. Um, overall, I think it's a great transition from the vintage to the classified with minor updates and small added details. Would have been cool if we kept that metal there, but you know, uh, you know, we can't always have everything, I guess. Um, but yeah, um, I think it would have been better if we just had the pants over the boots, for me personally. But I don't know, this also offers more range with the boot cut there um, compared to having a limited boot cut. And yeah, but yeah, those are my thoughts on these two. Let me know what you guys think of these two and I'll see you guys in a future comparison video.